everybody. Hey, Quinn, guess what? What, Cadence? Do you know what we're going to learn about today? No clue. What? Bees. Bees? Did you know there are over 20,000 different kind of bees? Bees can be found mostly everywhere, except for Antarctica. But let's look at the most common bees you know. Bumblebees are fat and fuzzy. They live in nests with up to 400 other bees. These nests could be in holes in the ground, under garden sheds, in tree holes, and even inside a birdhouse. Honeybees are thinner and look more like a wasp. They live in bee hives with up to 20,000 other bees and are looked after by a beekeeper. Let's talk about the life cycle of a bee. A bee starts out as an egg. It then hatches into a larva, which looks like a little worm. The larva is fed by adult bees until it spins a silky case called a cocoon, which protects it as it develops. Inside the cocoon, it develops into a pupa, a sort of halfway stage between larva and adult, and then into an adult bee. Bees are very important for ecosystem and for agriculture. They play a crucial role in pollinating flowers. Pollination is the way in which the male part of a flower reaches the female part, which is called the pistils, where the eggs are. Once the pollen reaches the egg, a new seed is created and a new plant can grow. And pollination happens when bees fly from flower to flower, gathering nectar. See, when a bee lands on a flower, some of its pollen sticks to the bee, and when the bee flies to the next flower, it brings the pollen with it. And some of this pollen falls off onto the next flower the bee lands on. That's how pollination happens. And as the bee travels from flower to flower, it spreads pollen too, helping the flowers to reproduce. Without bees, plants wouldn't be able to grow and make new plants. So bees don't just pollinate wild plants, they also help the pollination of many of the plants that we eat. Foods like squash, pumpkins, zucchini, kiwi, and watermelon are all pollinated by bumblebees, honeybees, and solitary bees. Tomatoes are pollinated by bumblebees. But other foods like gower beans, lemons, and limes are pollinated by honeybees. And all of these foods and many more would be impacted a lot if bees disappeared. Did you know that for every three bites of food you take, you should say thank you to a bee because they helped make that plant grow food for you and me. And bees might seem like something to be afraid of because they can sting, but they're a very important part of our world. Without bees, we might not have flowers, fruits, vegetables, and other plants. Honeybees live in hives or colonies. The members of the hives are divided into three types, queen, worker bees, and drones. The queen. One queen runs the whole hive. Her job is to lay the eggs that will spawn the hive's next generation of bees. The queen lives for one to four years. The queen also produces chemicals that guide the other bees how to behave. And if there's another queen that wants the job, the queens will fight to the death to see who remains or becomes a new queen. Another type of bee is worker bees. And worker bees are all female and their roles are to forage for food, pollen and nectar from the flowers. They also build and protect the hive, clean and circulate air by beating their wings very fast. Worker bees are the only bees most people ever see flying around outside of the beehive. And last we have drones. These are the male bees and their purpose is to mate with the queen. Several hundred drones live in each hive during the spring and summer. But come winter time, when the hive goes into survival mode, the drones are kicked out. Want to know how bees make honey? Here we go! 
The bees chew the nectar that's been brought back to the hive. They have a special enzyme, a type of protein, in their mouths that turns into honey. Then they store it in the little holes in a honeycomb and fan it with their wings to dry it out and thicken it up. The honey is food for the hive, but luckily they make much, much more than they need, so there is some left over for us. Sadly, in recent years, the number of bees has gone down for many reasons. Pollution, new construction, and the use of pesticides. Pesticides are chemicals that farmers spray on crops to help keep animals away. Want to see how you can help bees? The best way is to plant bee-friendly flowers and herbs in your garden and landscaping. Bee's favorites include honeysuckle, lavender, rosemary, thyme, and chives. These have lots of pollen and nectar for the bees to feed on. Here are some even more cool facts about bees. Honeybees usually fly up to 20 miles per hour, but they usually fly up to 50 miles per hour because they might be carrying water or nectar. Honeybees must fly 55,000 miles to make only one pound of honey. It takes 10 pounds of nectar to only make one pound of honey. Bees must go to 2 million flowers. That means 50 to 100 flowers per flight to only gather one pound of honey. Bees play a crucial part in our world. Learning about what honeybees do and why they are important could give people a new appreciation on these winged pollinators. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub, smash, and ring. And we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Boom!